Hey, what's up? CISSP wannabes. I'm Colin Weaver. These are the IT Dojo CISSP questions of the day. Every single day. Well, that's not true. A lot of days I come at you with two questions to help you prepare for your CISSP exam. Let's go ahead and get right to it. A user at a terminal needs to be able to log in to a system. The system processes as well as the user need to have a degree of assurance that an untrusted process is not going to be able to somehow inject itself into the authentication pathways. Um, what is this requirement called? There's your answer choices. Click on pause if you need to, give it some thought, and when you're ready, click play, and we can walk through the answers. All right, the first answer choice is actually the one that we're looking for here. We're looking for a trusted path. Uh, this deals with the trusted computing base and a requirement in the TCB that authentication processes are uh, free from outside intervention, that a user and the authentication processes um, are able to communicate with each other in a way that is trusted. That's called trusted path. Next answer choice, just to review all these, uh, an application programming interface, uh, nope. Uh, an API is just a way for different components of a system to be able to communicate with each other in a structured way. Uh, it's a very generic definition, but uh, that's what it is, and it's not what we're looking for right here. All right, uh, covert channel was one of the other choices. Nope, covert channel is a way to communicate information in a way that is outside the normal communication pathways, typically associated with either covert timing channels or covert storage channels. Not what we're looking for here. And the last item on the list that was there to distract you was a protection domain. Protection domain goes in and represents all of the privileges and permissions associated with code that comes from a particular source. So also not what we're looking for in this particular answer. We were dealing specifically with a trusted path. So make sure that you're familiar with the whole notion of a trusted computing base as well as the definition of a trusted path when you go take the CISSP exam. All right, here comes question number two today. An IT contingency planning process consists of seven broad steps. I'm going to give you a big long list of answer choices to pick from and what I want to know from you is which of the which of them and I want you to pick two which of them is one of those seven steps so here come the answer choices lots of words click pause read it through and then click play again and we can talk about it now keep in mind that the CISSP exam is notorious for loving process. And so anytime you encounter something that has steps or has processes or things are done in a certain order, uh, the CISP exam is highly likely to ask you about those things. And so making sure that you take the time to be familiar with and comfortable with the processes of things, whether it's systems development lifecycle or IT contingency planning processes or business continuity, whatever it is, and if it's a process oriented thing, make sure you know the steps and processes for it. So having said all that, let's go ahead and look at these answers. All right, so the two answer choices that you're looking for are developing recovery strategies and identifying preventive controls. All right, and to look at the other ones that are here, defining metrics to be gathered, that's part of ICSM, continuous security monitoring. Responding to management with mitigation steps, that's also part of continuous security monitoring. Performing functional and security testing, that's part of the systems development life cycle. And the last one on the list, which is obtaining a formal authorization to operate or an ATO, that's also part of systems development life cycle. Um, if you don't have them, uh, there's some links down below, the seven steps of the IT planning process I've put in, um, down in, this, in the comments below. Plus, there's also some really good links that will go in and, and uh, give you some excellent reading to go in and do on this particular topic. Sweet. Two more questions done. Appreciate it. That's all I got. See you tomorrow.